The beginning stages of the business was when the phone didn't ring. My name is Willie L. Payne, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Payne Pest Management Company. We've been in business since 2006, and the net worth of our company is about $7 million. We started off uh, in May of 2006, and our office was on Chesapeake Street in Kearney Mesa, San Diego. My wife would tell me, where are all those phone calls you were getting? There was never any time I wanted to give up, but there were times when it was really challenging. Well, I, I think owning your own company is always pretty stressful. You're not only responsible for your own well-being, but that of your family and your employees. I never in, in a million years thought that I would be in the position that I'm in today simply because I was raised in Southeast San Diego. I went to a place in which didn't have a whole lot of things to offer. What the council did for us was it's ex it exposed us to institutional buyers that we never had the opportunity to work with before. Folks like Metropolitan Water District, AT&T, all of those people who I were not aware of before, all of a sudden came into the light for me. When I found out the council was available to us, I found it to be very intriguing. I knew that there'd be a lot of uh, additional opportunities for us, and at the same time, I, I thought it would be a nice way for us to give back to the community. They're a great example of, of how this really works. They get help, they grow their businesses, they begin to give back by buying from other businesses and then supporting the goals and the mission of the council going forward. The characteristics that I think are the most valuable from working with the council is just the entire culture of the council to give back and empower people and just help people better themselves and others around them. The idea behind Supply Diversity is taking a look at those larger organizations, Fortune 100s, and they're looking at opportunities to do business with these smaller companies. The folks that we in fact serve uh, with our mission are diverse businesses. So that's women, minorities, service disabled, veteran companies, and other diverse businesses. More recently, we've looked at how do we take the success of our diverse business community and then how do we channel that down into the underserved communities that we've identified within San Diego County? How do we change lives? Not just the businesses. It's broader than just supplier diversity. It really is about creating a community that's going to change the economics and be self-sustainable and self-reliant in some ways. That's what I really hope for the council. That's what I really hope for our community.